working on a 67 Mustang. Uh, the original master cylinder was one of these old style ones. It was an all drum car. Now it is discs all around. Some of the guys in the forums were kind of confused on what they needed to do as far as uh, replacing the master cylinder when they went discs. So I, I thought I'd make a video on it, hopefully help somebody out. So this is a master cylinder for a 96 Mustang with a V6. It had all discs and it bolts right into there. Um, the, the lines are on the passenger side though, so you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to make new lines. A lot of times you can't, there's no way around it, you're gonna have to make new lines. And it's really not, not that big of a deal. Um, the first thing I did is I took a, a wire coat hanger and I kind of mocked up how I wanted my lines to run. And so I got one end going to the master cylinder and the other end going to this distribution block here. Then I took a shoelace and I ran it along the coat hanger and then transferred that measurement over to a line. I got a 60 inch line and I transferred the, the length I needed over to the line and I cut it using a tubing cutter. You want to use a tubing cutter because it'll give you a good clean straight cut. Um, and I went out and bought 60 inch with a bubble flare on one end because uh, tools that make bubble flares are less common. And then I took the fitting off of the original line that's going to go to the distribution block and I slid it on there. This ends for the master cylinder. Um, you can use this tool to make your uh, inverted flare on the end that goes to the distribution block. These are kind of a pain in the ass to use and they work sometimes. If you're going to be doing, you know, more than one custom brake setup, you might want to go buy one of these. It, I just got it. It's an awesome tool. I'm going to show you how to use it. It's a Master Cool Universal Hydraulic Flaring Tool Kit. It comes with comes with these. It'll do inverted flares. It'll do bubble flares, um, push connect fittings over here. It definitely beats using this this one here. And it definitely saves you a lot of time running around trying to get fittings to adapt to adapt your brake lines. And then you just have more places for leaks. So this really is the way to go. If it, It'll save you a lot of time running around town trying to find stuff. Um, so what you do, this is a 3 16 line here. So we're going to grab our 3 16 die. And you just pop the die in with this circle end, circle on that end, flat on the other. Circle goes, goes toward the press. Let's see. And you're going to you're going to grab the uh 3/16 press. And the cone. All right. And you want this brake line slid in here and you want it flush with the uh, the block. So we're going to pop it in there and then this thing here slides over and and make sure that it's flush. So we're going to do that. And we're going to tighten this down to hold the block in. Get it good and tight. Pull it out. Check make sure that it's that it is flush. It definitely looks flush. And you're going to take this part, slide it in there, and you're going to twist the handle. Until it lines up and stops.
Now you're going to close the valve and squeeze the hydraulic part of the tool till it stops. And we're going to release the valve, twist it back out. Pop the press out of there. Press, die, I guess it's a die. Pop the cone in. Same thing. Twist it till it touches it. And you'll feel it, it'll stop. Close the valve. Pump the tool. Till it stops, release the valve. Twist it back out. Pop the die out. Loosen that up. Pull the block. And you got an inverted flare on the end there. And it, it looks pretty dang good. All right, now that you got your your custom line made. All right, so this is the shape I need. There's a couple tools you can use to bend your brake line. You got this thing here, and you just kind of stick it in there and bend it. And you don't want to kink this. That's why you use this. Or you can use these tube bending pliers to shape it. You Same thing, they're rounded here. There'll be a link in the description for this and this and you just want to bend it to kind of match this and that's that's pretty much how you make your brake lines i hope this helped you out if it did like subscribe we'll see you in the next video thanks for watching